Good morning, Business Tech student. This is Ms. Gannon doing a recording today of how to create a label using Microsoft Word 2013 that will include a graphic. And the, the key here is, is the graphic. Before you begin this, I would like to make sure that you take notes in your notebook. They are found in the typical place on the desktop. You can go to Handouts, Business Tech, it's quarter three, and then the envelopes 2015. This is envelopes and labels. So again, before you begin, make sure you get those notes. To begin, we're going to open up Microsoft Word. And we'll take a blank document. In the blank document, we are going to go according to the notes where it says mailings. And when we go over here to mailings, I am going to start just a label, a regular label and I will click OK. The way I got that was I clicked on mailings, I went start mail merge, and I went to labels here. You also can do it this way, but it gets a little bit trickier if you do it this way, because eventually we're going to want to update the labels with our graphic. So you will go ahead and type your first and your last name. You will type your street address, including the number, I'm just going to use the school address. It's going a little slow there. The problem with doing this in the mail merge is you'll notice we have our spacing is a little bit off, so we will need to fix that. We fix it the same way we did it when we were doing letters. Highlight the text. You will go over to the home tab, click on paragraph, and it's the before and after that's off. So we're going to put a zero there, and you'll notice it, it'll be fine now. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a picture in here, a little graphic, and I selected this prior to actually doing the labels, and I know that I put it on the desktop. So I'm going to click on insert, pictures, and it's on my desktop, and I just picked a little heart and there it is. Now I will need to resize the heart so I'm going to go to the corner and again you always want to take it in the corner because if you don't it'll look kind of skewed and you don't want that. I'm going to click on this icon, click see more, text wrapping and click tight and there we go. I'm going to kind of center it a little bit. I am going to press enter and it will pop outside of the table first and I knew it would so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to press enter and now I'm going to move the heart back up. And I, I like the way that that's centered. I think it looks okay. If you wanted to change the font at this point, you'd be welcome to do that. You don't have to pick the, the, this font here. You can pick pretty much anything you want. It's easier if you do it now. So um, how about that one? Ah, it looks the same. How about papyrus? I like that one. It tends to be one of my favorite. So now I have my first label done, but I want them on every single one of these cells in this table. So I'm going to go back to mailing, and now I'm going to click Update Labels. I am going to run into one problem, but I will show you how to fix that. So I'm going to go click, and now there they are. I don't have to do them one by one. The problem that I have is I have this um, next record on every single one except the first one and it will print that so you you don't want that the way you fix that is I'm gonna go back to the home tab and I'm gonna go over here to where it says replace so I'm gonna take this it, it was a little bit tricky highlighting it last time so let me see if I can get it a little because it, it highlights like everything and I don't want that okay Let me get it. Yeah, I had a little bit of a problem getting it. Okay, let's try that. And I'm going to go ahead and control C, that's, that's for copy, click replace, and if you accidentally hit find, that's okay, just go with the replace tab. I'm going to hit control V, and the reason I wanted to copy that is because I had to get these symbols over here. And the only way to get those is, is to copy them down. And then I'm going to hit replace it with what? With nothing. So I'm going to hit replace all. And look, and I'm going to hit yes to all of them. And now they're all gone. 
all done and close and there you go now it does take special paper in order to to print these off if, if you really wanted to use them um, I, I do I do want to use them so I would go put that in you we have to purchase that at Office Depot or Office Max um, if you wanted to do that that would be great we, we could do it just let me know let's see thank you very much